Hey, George. Hi, Dave. Hey, what do we have going on here? Yeah, we have a 15-year-old heat pump. Uh, it's still running. However, it's expensive to run. I see. Uh, it's going to be expensive to repair. And the homeowner knows at some point it has to be replaced, so he's being proactive. I see. All right. So uh, what kind of units are going to go in for in this, re in this uh, replacement? This, this is going to be a good one. We're going to put in a Brone IQ drive. It's a the Brone. highest efficiency heat pump out there today, conventional air source heat pump. The reason the homeowner chose the Brone IQ system is they're looking to be more green, have less of an impact on the environment, and the Brone IQ series is the most efficient heat pump air source out there right now. Oh. Um, the energy use will, of course, drop, and like I said, less of an impact on the environment. Oh, that's great. Uh, so today we're going to start uh, taking out the old beast here, and right. uh, uh, tell me about the uh, the process uh, that's we're going to undertake. Our for technicians that. are going to come here. We're going to recover the refrigerant. Of course, that's a law. We recover it. We'll cut this unit loose. We'll take the air handler out, and we'll put the new Brown IQ drive system right in the place of this unit. Okay, well, let's let the guys get going. Okay. There's a saying that what you don't measure won't be improved. That's certainly the case with energy savings. What good is it looking at your energy consumption a month after you actually get your energy bill? So what we have is uh, the energy detective, and that's a device that uh, can measure energy or power usage in real time. And what we have is a couple of uh, different devices. There's two of them, as a matter of fact. One gets installed inside your electrical panel which we'll go through and show you that installation. Now this is something that you wouldn't want to do. This is very dangerous in here. You want to certainly have a elect qualified electrician do the installation here. We do have a lot of power in here, but one of the components of the energy doctor is this here meter. It's going to meter your actual energy power. And I'm going to take this clamp on, and in this case we're going to measure all the power that's being consumed in the house. But you can also, you can also use multiple uh, devices here and measure uh, the individual components or individual circuits. So what this does is going to measure the amount of, of power that you're consuming and it's going to take that and broadcast it through your actual electrical wiring devices in your home. And that's going to be sent to a gateway. And this gateway, the gateway is simply a device, um, as you can see, just plugs into reg any regular old outlet. So as your, your, your device inside the electrical panel measures it, it sends out a signal inside your wiring, this will pick it up, this gateway device will pick it up. From there, the gateway device uh, measures it, converts that data into something that could be usable and read. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to actually hook it up to our laptop direct. Uh, but you could, if you have a router connection or an internet connection, uh, you can send it out, uh, pull it in. Google has a free application. Uh, on your Google homepage, you can tailor it, take a look at your energy consumption any time or any place that you have an internet connection. Um, they also have a device too that looks like a little iPod. You can set on a counter and you can measure in real time what your actual energy consumption is. Okay, so here we have the energy detective installed on the old system. So what we want to do is we want to take our measure our power consumption with the old system and then the new system after we install the Brown IQ heat pump. And hopefully we can see a, uh, a huge savings in energy power consumption. So if we take a look at the needle here and if we can have someone turn the uh, system on to heating, uh, we'll turn it on to heating at first and then air conditioning. We'll measure it and then we'll be able to get an idea of uh, what the power consumption is real time and over a period of time, we'll be able to extrapolate that information and get like a yearly uh, power or energy consumption. So you see it just turned on and uh, we're up to, uh, oh boy, it's, it's pegged. It's up to over 17 uh, kilowatts right now. So that's the old system running in heat pump mode. It's in the heating, heating mode right now. And uh, you can see all the, all, the, all the power that's being used right now. And hopefully, like I say, with the new Brown IQ system, we're going to see a lot less uh, power consumption. The Brown IQ heat pump is rated at 22 SEER, as opposed to other heat pumps, which tend to be rated around 15 SEER. It achieves this with a fully modulated rotary compressor that ramps the speed up depending on outdoor temperature and indoor comfort settings. The Brown IQ heat pump also has an indoor comfort component, which is a blower unit. 
The indoor air handler has a fully modulating blower motor that also varies the speed depending on comfort settings. Unlike other heat pumps that are either off or running at full speed, even if you don't need it at full capacity, the Brown IQ heat pump ramps the compressor up depending upon your needs. This is the condensing unit coming off the truck right now. This is the outdoor unit. That's uh, the Brown. The yes, Brone it is. IQ. Yes, it is. Okay. That looks uh, pretty sizable. Yes, it is sizable, but that's part of the way that they get their efficiency out of the system. In the first stage, Dan is recovering the old refrigerant for recycle. Jim heads up into the attic to replace refrigerant piping. Here Dan is disconnecting the older system in preparation to move it away. Every new heat pump gets a leveled, precast concrete pad. After that, we set the heat pump on stands to facilitate drainage and provide snow clearance. And then we make sure everything is level, and now that stage of the installation is completed. Welcome back to At Home Experts, I'm Amy Baker. We're here at the fairways of Brookside Condominiums where restrictions on soil excavation, installation of solar panels, and the lack of gas infrastructure would have jeopardized most of our options. Fortunately, this homeowner was gracious enough to allow our cameras in to get a peek at the installation of a Brone IQ heat pump. Okay, here's Dan, he's in charge of installing the outside unit. It's a two-man crew that's, uh, that's installing this heat pump. And Dan is going to be uh, brazing in some new re refrigerant line that's going to connect the outside unit with the inside uh, unit. We have to go with a new uh, refrigerant piping because it's, well, it's, first of all, it's a larger in diameter, number one. Number two, uh, this unit has a new type of refrigerant that's not compatible with the old R22. So uh, we'll get uh, Dan fired up on his uh, brazing torch here, and he's going to be flowing some nitrogen through there, some inert gas. So. There won't be any scaling on the inside of the pipe. It'll keep that nice and clean. And then when that's all done, uh, we'll be covering uh, piping that goes up alongside the house with this here covering, so it'll look like a downspout. And uh, you know you won't even know that there's piping in it. Go ahead, Dan. <clears throat> Okay, so Dan has to heat it, the temperature of the pipe up pretty high to get the, the brazing to flow through. Once he's done with that, then we're going to do a pressure check on the system, uh, make sure it's all pressurized, there's no leaks or anything like that. Uh, and then when he's done with that, we're going to pull it out, pull it into a vacuum. Uh, we need to get as close to a perfect vacuum as possible. That way we have all the air and all the impurities out of the inside of the pipe. And then after that, we're going to release the refrigerant and, uh, and that'll flow through the system and we'll be ready to go. And some of the challenges with these projects is they always seem to involve an attic, and that's no exception with this project. Uh, they always uh, they seem to be very tight, dark, and extremely hot. So we're going to go up there and uh, do a quick look-see, and uh, we'll be right back at it. Okay. So you see it's taking the old mindset out, and here's a new one. We took it from the outside where we, you saw it come up the outside of the building, in through the eaves, and we have it installed, brought over to the uh, air handler unit, and back down, and everything is all nice and secure and tight. So uh, we're ready to go. It's a little hot up here, so uh, uh, let's, let's get back out.
Okay, so we're going to go in and see the second half of the system, that's the indoor unit, see how they're progressing with that. Okay, so this is the indoor unit, this is the, uh, the, the blower unit, so to speak, it's going to be moving the air uh, through your home, whether it be heating or cooling. Uh, the refrigerant pipe, when we took a look at outside, uh, runs overhead, comes down through here, same again, braised, braised joints, everything's braised. Uh, we have a variable speed air, air handler. Variable speed means it'll ramp up and ramp down. It's not going to go full on or full off. Uh, so that's, uh, that's good for efficiency as well as uh, indoor comfort. Uh, we have these big old wires here from the old system. We're not going to need wires this big anymore, I can tell you that. Uh, this system's going to be a lot more efficient and uh, you know, our, our wire size is going to shrink as well. Uh, we're going with the uh, uh, humidifier as well. Uh, that's going to be installed here in the plenum system. And up here is where we connect it to the existing ductwork. So uh, we're just about done here and uh, see a couple things need to be tidied up, a little bit of wiring, um, ductwork unit, uh, ductwork uh, completion here and we'll be ready to get out of here and turn it on. So the last part of the job is to install a new thermostat. So I just pulled off the old one, I'll be disposing of this. Uh, properly, of course, because uh, it does contain mercury. So we'll be sending it off to a disposal facility. And uh, next thing to do is put the new one on. So this is a new thermostat for the IQ drive. We have the sub base installed and uh, it's just a matter of uh, putting it in place. Okay, with that completed, all we have to do is fire it up and start saving money. So we're finished with the installation of the Brown IQ heat pump system. The homeowner is feeling very comfortable with the variable speed drive. And uh, now it's time to take a look at what our energy savings are. As you can recall, with the old system, we peaked at 17 kilowatt hours. And with this system here, Let's take a look at that. So what we're showing here is the, uh, the, uh, the profile of the new Brown IQ system um, in its heating mode. If you recall, the old system, when it was a call for heat, went from zero kilowatts and actually pegged it, went off the scale, went up to 17 uh, kW. And then uh, on, a, on a turn off, on a shutdown, then it would actually ramp down to zero. On this particular one, it starts off at zero uh, we have a call for heat and it slowly ramps up and it looks to find itself, find, you know, it measures the outside temperature and the actual inside temperature. And the maximum here we have is about 4 kW and then as it gets close to its set point, it starts to slowly ramp down. So, so you don't have the abrupt on and off like you do with the old one. This one here is more slow, even flow. And the max kW is about one third that of the old system. So now we can see in real time the decrease in energy usage that this homeowner will enjoy as well as a smaller carbon footprint and that's a win-win for the environment and the homeowner. Now for our special segment, Made Screen Tip of the Day. Surveys have shown that 9 out of 10 installations are substandard. Um, so who you choose to do the installation is just or probably more important than the actual equipment that you install in your home. Uh, this can result in energy costs of about 40% off of what the manufacturer intended that uh, uh, rating to be. So uh, it's ult ultimately it's very important to choose who you're going to install uh, your piece of equipment. This one here is done. Things like uh, the, the refrigeration piping, uh, make sure that the uh, long sweep L's are used, uh, it's brazed in place, uh, nitrogen is flown so you don't have any scaling uh, inside the pipes. The bends are nice and smooth, they aren't kinked. Uh, I can't tell you how many installations we've seen where the, the piping has actually been bent and that results in uh, lower refrigerant flow and that's an energy penalty as well. Airflow is ultimately critical. Make sure it's properly designed, there's a heat loss and heat cool calculation done with airflow and the design of the duct work is, is critical as well. Um, airflow through this heat exchanger, if it's not what the factory wants, you're gonna have an energy penalty, and energy cost to you. So whatever it's rated for at the factory, you won't be seeing in your home. So make sure that that's all done properly. 
Air Conditioning and Contractors Association, ACA, uh, publishes a standard for all installations of air conditioning and heat pump equipment. Make sure the contractor that you utilize follows those installation standards and uh, then you should be a, 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 a good to go with that. In this, part, in this particular installation we also have uh, uh, safety switches on our condensate. Uh, these units in air conditioning mode uh, pull water out of the air, creates condensation, uh, especially if it's in an attic. Uh, it could uh, prove to be damaging if uh, it should overflow. On this particular installation, and, and all of ours as a matter of fact, uh, you're going to have safety switches. Uh, so the, uh, the flow of water through here, if it should back up over a period of time, it's going to shut the switch off and it's going to turn your air conditioner off. Make sure those are done on, on your installation as well. Um, and this is pretty much it. It's a wrap. We're just going to go and uh, turn that thermostat on and, and uh, see how it works. That's our tip for today. Thanks.